This is UNAIDS. We have made tremendous progress in many areas of the epidemic, but what is a stark finding to me is a thousand young women being infected every day around the world with HIV. That's over 7,000 a week. Young women at the height of their opportunities, at their height of their abilities, becoming infected with HIV. I think there's really two reasons. I think one of them is very much grounded in the lives of young women. The fact that young women, third of young women, our first sexual experience is rape. The fact that many young women, over 50%, are not in school. The fact that young women are devalued in their communities. The fact that young women are um, in a constant conflict with where they want to see themselves and where they are currently. And I think what we've learned in the last 30 years of HIV AIDS is that HIV prevention needs to be very much tailored, not only to the group, but the particular age bands within the group. And I think messages that will work for a 25-year-old as far as HIV prevention may not be perceived in the same way by a 15-year-old or even an 11-year-old. So I think what we've really tried to do is tailor the prevention to each of the relevant age group bands with messages and content and interventions that actually reach, reach them and address their core issues. So we've been actually been able to actually decrease new infections in adults, but that has become overwhelmed by the number of new 15 to 24 year olds. So in 1990, we had a certain number, millions of 15 to 24 year olds. We now have twice that many, twice. There's been a 100% increase in the number of 15 to 24 year olds. Now that's terrific and can be an amazing dividend of youth and, and spirit and thriving. But they're also, that group is at the highest risk for HIV now. So I think when you combine the demographics of having twice of a population, unless you've decreased new infections by 100%, you're going to have more increase in new infections. So these are the issues that we are really working very closely with countries on because we realize if we're going to talk about an AIDS-free generation, all those babies that were born HIV-free need to stay HIV free and thrive. And I think that's the focus of DREAMS, which is determined, resilient, empowered, AIDS free, and mentored and safe young women, recognizing that you need to do each of those things in order to provide an environment and a community where young girls can thrive and remain HIV free.